Clerk designate the amendment. Amendment to HR 3409, offered by Mr. DeFazio of Oregon. Amendment 01. Uh, I'll now recognize uh, members uh, wishing to speak on the amendment. I'll begin with myself. I'm pleased to offer a non-controversial manager's amendment to the bill. Bipartisan amendment has been worked out in consultation with Ranking Member Graves, Subcommittee Chair Maloney, Subcommittee Ranking Member Gibbs. I urge members from both sides to support it. The most significant provision in the amendment is language uh, from uh, legislation uh, that I introduced, bipartisan legislation, H.R. 367, the Coast Guard Pay Parity Act of 2019, legislation the committee passed by voice vote and ordered reported to the House on March 27, 2019. <coughs> the last government shutdown may be a few months behind us now, but that's no reason uh, for the committee not to press forward to ensure that should there ever be another lapse in appropriations and should the other armed services be funded through their appropriations bill, uh, that the Coast Guard, the fifth military service, will also be paid. Uh, by any measure of fairness, it makes absolutely no sense for the Coast Guard to go without, especially when it's often uh, working arm in arm with the other military services to protect the security of the U.S. Uh, during the uh, shutdown uh, and the lack of pay, I had a call from the Commandant, and he talked about the irony of uh, moving the boomer subs out of Bremerton uh, with the uh, Coast Guard uh, escorts. Uh, the submariners were being paid, uh, the Coast Guard that was protecting the submariners weren't being paid. Uh, that just uh, that just rankles me. Uh, and uh, you know, I asked the members of this committee to support the Coast Guard, support the language of this amendment that will keep them standing a watch without having to worry about whether they'll be able to pay their next month's rent, pay for the next visit to the doctor's office, uh, pay for their uh, you know the kids' uh, uh, school lunches or or clothes for school. Uh, this amendment also includes a couple of other provisions to allow the Coast Guard to access funds that it derives from services provided or properties it dispenses with. Specifically, the first provision would allow the Coast Guard to use funds paid by foreign nations to reimburse the Coast Guard for ice patrol services provided in the North Atlantic Ocean. The second provision would enable the Coast Guard to use funds deposited in the Coast Guard Housing Fund uh, from the sale of excess Coast Guard properties. It just makes sense those funds should be used to help either reimburse the Coast Guard or help address a glaring need to improve Coast Guard housing. In addition, the amendment includes provisions to grant the Coast Guard greater flexibility to conduct basic applied and advanced research projects, provide new authority to retain acquisition personnel, uh, provide relief from uh, towing vessel inspection fees, and clarify subrogated liability claims under the Oil Pollution Act. In all, a balanced amendment approves the bill. I once again want to thank Ranking Member Graves, Subcommittee Chair Maloney, Ranking Member Gibbs for your cooperation in crafting this amendment. I urge all members to support the amendment, to support the underlying bill. Uh, do any uh, members wish to be recognized for statements on the amendment? Mr. Chairman. Oh. Uh, Mr. Garamendi. And then Carbajal. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I thought you'd go down to our Republican friend first, but I'd be happy to, uh, to go.